more life, more vision, it's Motivation Friday. And I'm your host, Joe Chege, back with your weekly dose of motivation. Denzel Washington once said, it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have that really matters. And I just want to challenge you to believe in what you got. Believe in your talent, believe in your dream, believe in your aspiration. For you to succeed, you don't have to have everything figured out. It's not how much you have, but what you have that really matters. It's never about the price. It's always about the impact that you're going to create onto other people's life. How are you impacting the people around you? What seeds are you planting for the next generation to harvest? What knowledge are you sharing with the people around you that's going to elevate them to the next level of their life? They say iron sharpens iron. Who have you surrounded yourself with that are going to help you to get to the next level of your life no matter where you are right now? You have to realize that sometimes we put barriers on ourselves because we feel like, no, I'm not where I'm, I'm supposed to be. I don't have the finances uh, for, for me to be able to fulfill this goal or this aspiration. We, we always try to count our blessing. We always try to block our blessing by counting what we don't have. We are always complaining, saying, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to do this because I don't have this. We are always blocking ourselves, counting on the things that we don't have instead of asking yourself, what do I have right now at this moment that I can use to kickstart this journey of life? What, what do I have at my disposal that I can use to be able to push my goal, my vision, my purpose in life ahead? What can I do with the minimum resource that I have that's going to elevate me to get to where I want to, 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 to reach in life? Because if we all wait until we make it in life for us to be a blessing to the people around us, if we are all waiting until the time we're going to become millionaires for us to be able to be a blessing to the people who really need our help or who really need our advice, then I guess we're going to have to wait until who knows. I believe, like they always say, there is no rich man on this earth that cannot receive and there is no poor person on this world that cannot give out something. Like we all have something in us that the other person needs. It might be a word of wisdom. It might be a skill set. It might be a story that you can share that's going to impact the other person. But all that matters is what you're going to do with whatever gift that you have in you. How are you going to be able to impact the people around you? Or are you going to just sit down and complain and wait until everything is figured out for you to take that step of faith? You have to be willing to take the risk and venture out into this world of life with the hope and believe that things are going to look up, that things are going to work out. Because as we all know, nobody knows what tomorrow holds. But like they always say, opportunity strikes the person that's already prepared. If you have a goal and aspiration of becoming something great, start working on it. Start working with whatever minimum resources that you have and then start building up from there. Once you start building traction, whatever little resources you find, just keep on putting them back into the business, put them back into the idea, put them back into the brand, and then keep on doing that. And within a short time, and as time goes by, you're going to start seeing the result. You're going to start seeing how your brand is growing, how your dream is growing, how all your goals and aspirations are lining up. But the most important part is just believing in yourself and believing in that a goal that you set for yourself and believing that you are more than capable of becoming great. Stop putting too much pressure on yourself. Now focus on how you can take the minimum resources you have right now and elevate yourself to the next level. Because if you think about it, if you're actually able to manage or you're actually able to flip whatever minimum resources you have right now and grow them, then that means you're capable of accomplishing anything. But if you just sit down and complain, if I give you a million dollars right now and you don't even know how to manage it, you don't even know how to invest that amount of money, guess what? You're going to blow up that whole uh, uh, million and then within a short time, you're going to go back to zero. We've had people who've won lotteries, millions, and they end up being broke because they didn't have the preparation, they didn't have the mindset. 
they didn't have an idea of how to, to manage such amount of wealth. So you have to prepare yourself. Whatever field you want to venture into life, you have to start preparing yourself with whatever little resources that you have. Look around you. Look at the people who are in the same venture or in the same, I would say, uh, field or in the same business venture that you're trying to enter and ask questions. Do your research. Spend time right now when you don't have all the resources figured out to study the game. And then once you study the game, once you figure out how the top of the top were able to get to where they are, then you can start working on yourself. And the minute you get the resources, you'll be good to go. So be encouraged. Just know that it's never hard, but it's not easy. The most important part is staying consistent and believing in your goals and aspirations, no matter what other people say. You are your biggest fan. Believe in yourself and keep on grinding, keep on chasing your dream. It's possible. All right? Peace and blessings.